Hello, dear friends and cultural creatives, Bruce here. Today's topic is on the nature of vaccinations and the role of our immune system in protecting us from environmental antigens and those kind of elements that try to undermine our lives. So uh, this is a very significant uh, discussion because I want to introduce a topic that is not really understood by the conventional public, and that is this. Vaccinations and controlling the immune system to create antibodies against those germs or parasites that try to attack us. How do we create vaccines? Our conventional understanding in the world is that we can create an immune response by taking foreign elements, bacteria, viruses, and parasites, or pieces of these elements, and putting them into a solution, injecting it under our skin, and then invoking the immune system to make a response against these invasive uh, foreign materials or antigens. The most important issue we have to face is this very serious issue about vaccines, because we believe that the vaccines are the way to program the immune system to protect us from environmental parasites, bacteria, and viruses. And therefore, we have bought into the system of artificially putting these antigens under our skin to invoke an immune response. The question of whether this is beneficial or not is now coming to the front because we're finding a very, very epidemic increase in regard to uh, allergic reactions or hypersensitivity. We're also finding that people are bringing in the concept that autism uh, is, seems to be associated with the widespread use of vaccines. So there are very profound questions out there as to the safety of using vaccines to create immune responses in the world in which we live. Well, I'd like to address this issue from uh, the point of view of immunology has made a misunderstanding about something very important called the tonsils. We have all heard of tonsils, and many of us have had our tonsils taken out. And I say, well, what are the tonsils? Well, if you look in a conventional book, a tonsil represents an immune mechanism that will protect us from invasive organisms. And the tonsils, there's actually three pairs or six tonsils making a ring around your throat. And the significance of the tonsils, uh, they are the devices that apparently are protecting us, and I use that with quotes, uh, from uh, foreign things such as viruses or bacteria that enter through our mouth, our nose, our eyes, or our ears, because all of these structures have conduits that connect to the throat. So if an invasive organism enters into our body through any of the holes in our head, these organisms must pass through the ring of the tonsils. It was believed and still believed by many that these tonsils represent the first line of defense to protect us against these invasive organisms. It's time to reconsider this concept completely for this reason. When we say that tonsils are there for our defense, then you would think, well, tonsils are there to protect us from anything that gets on the inside. And the significance is this. Tonsils actually invite antigens into the body. And all of a sudden, what do you mean invite them? I thought they were supposed to protect me. Well, all the tonsils have little tiny slivers of connection to the surface so that as we eat something or something goes down our throat, a small sample of what we just swallowed goes down these little crevices and enter into the tonsils. The function of the tonsils is then to read the nature of these things that we brought into our mouth and then identify them by creating antibodies that will complement with these foreign things introduced into the body. 